morning everybody welcome to another tech tuesday we're in the motor circle bunker again motor circle well i'm here i've put a new uh, front basket on the uh, on the ct you can never have too much storage and that'll be for the little petrol can because it uh, it smells a bit when you put it in there and if you've got anything in there it will smell the petrol so yeah it's quite cool ebay just cable tied him on before I started doing any drilling, I'll see how that goes. But that's nice and secure. I say, I do like me storage. Storage. Right then, so what we're doing today. I am going to have a go at fitting that new CDX pulley on the Nikolai. So there we go. There's the pulley. I'm going to have a go at fitting that. There's the little snubber. One of two. So it's just a case of getting the 5 mil Allen, undoing the axle, dropping him out, dropping him out, and then taking this off. Like I say, it's... I don't think I need to do it, but I'm going to do it anyway, and I'm going to have a look at it, keep that as a spare, because that's I think that's quite a good design, actually. And I have been told by a viewer, and it's in the actual handbook, how to take that down. You use the you use the uh, the uh, the belt to pull it down, because it is quite stiff. So, right then, without further ado, let's get cracking. Right, so it says pull the... Right, so they say use the belt to pull the thing down. So let's have a look at it. So I guess you've got to hold the rear wheel, yeah, and then just push the pin in. So yeah, if you're going to do the belt bit, hold the rear wheel to stop it from turning, pull it down, and then once you've pulled the belt down, just hold your spoke, or a couple of spokes, and then you can just wiggle your holding down pin in. Right then, let's get the... Let's do the bolt, the axle. Axle out. Bike is sliding on the stand. There we go. It's as easy as that. All right, so there you go. To take this pulley off, it's just your standard, I'm not sure what the tool is, but I've got one which Fits in there, got the handle, pulls it down. It's, I'm sure somebody's going to tell me what the proper name is, but I'll uh, I'll go and get it now. All right, so there we go. This is the tool we need. Cyclist tools. I'm not sure where I got this from. Probably Amazon. But that's the thing you need. All right, so there we go. Let's get him in. And that's it. I'll, uh, I'll just put him somewhere where I can support it and get that off. Right, so this is now loose. What I've had to do to release that, because you're coming, you're turning it this way, which is forcing that to go around, and you can't use a chain whip on it because you haven't got the teeth. So what I've what I've had to do is just use this uh, little tool here, plastic handles, just to put it inside the gap there, just so I could force it back against me turning it this way, because uh, I'm sure there is something like a a pulley whip like a chain whip which works in there, but I haven't got one, so I just had to improvise. Carefully just put it in there and just work against it, pushing it back that way. So we're now loose now. Oh. So it's just a case of unscrew. There's a set of four spaces there. And then that just slides off. Okay. And there you go, there's your, your free hub. All right then, let's get the new bit on, clean that up, and get the new pulley on. Right, so we're going to put the uh, the new pulley back on. And I've noticed that the one I've taken off, this centre section here, this is about a millimetre thinner than the new one. So I'm going to leave one of the one of the spacers off. Okay, so this is thinner. This is this is about five mil. I can't get my calipers in there to measure it, but uh, I've done a quick and dirty measurement, and that's about five five millimeters thick. And this one's just under four, roundabout. So I'm leaving one of the spacers off. Right, there is a little spacer which just which just fits onto the uh, the front of the free hub. And then, we... right, so we're giving that a bit of a clean up now. Coming to fit the new pulley on. Now there is a bit of a uh, a camber on this. The easiest way to do it is you've got some. Uh, Lettering and numbering on here, you know, carbon drive CDX, have that facing inwards. So no lettering on this side, lettering on the inside. And then it's just a case of sliding on. So I've got to put the uh, the spacers back on. I'm using two three mil spacers, and there's a, the other spacer has got no measurement on it. So 
I'll just pop that on. Get that started finger tight. All right, so we've got that in finger tight. We'll just nip him up now, 40 newton meters. My torque wrench doesn't go up to 40 newton meters and I haven't got the tool to go in there anyway. So I'm just gonna nip him up to uh, 40 newton meters. There we go, that's him on. Right, so there we go. We've got the new uh, CDX pulley on there. Like I say, because the, uh, the inner is about a millimeter wider than the old center section. I've I've left a 2.5 mil spacer off off here, just so it sits right. And uh, it's going to fit in back on the bike now. Right, we'll get the wheel back in now. Very simple process. Cleaned and re-greased the, the rear the rear axle. So just slip him onto the new pulley. Get the brake in. There we go. Oh. Tighten him up. I'll uh, nip that up with the uh, the torque wrench in a minute. Wipe the grease off. All right. All we're going to do now is just release, pull him down, release the tensioner. He's sitting lovely, lovely. Right, all we're going to do now is fit the snubber. Right, we'll come and fit the snubber now. And this just fits on the inside of this little drop down arm here. You can just see the little groove in there and that slides up on the inside. There is a, a lock nut in there. And we have an Allen key which comes from, an Allen key, an Allen bolt that comes from the other side to secure them in place. So. All we do is just slide the snubber on. It's all grooved, so we can't not go on the right way. Four mil Allen bolt. And just tighten him up. There we go. Carefully nip him up. A little bit more. There we go. That is the snubber on. And there you go. Happy days, boys and girls. New CDX pulley fitted with the snubber. Okay, so there he is. The new CDX pulley fitted. Bearing in mind this little centre section here, this is slightly wider than the original pulley setup, so I've dropped a, uh, a spacer from here and there's the snubber sitting rather nicely <laughs> so apparently I'm not going to get any belt wear but looking at my belt I don't think I'm getting any wear anyway not unless that's a little bit but anyway it's nothing major so that now will last probably outlast me actually <laughs> right then there you go folks I hope that was of some use to somebody somewhere on the world. Um, very simple process, old pulley off. Had to use something to uh, work against the leverage of me uh, taking the uh, the little securing center bit. I don't know what the technical name for it is, but you know what I mean. Um, I just use a handle, plastic handle of a uh, wire crimper. And yeah, took a, took a spacer off because the, uh, the new CDX pulley was a little bit wider. A little bit thicker, sorry. So I just dropped a spacer and everything's fine. Running sweet. Snubber on. Happy days, boys and girls. Right then, until the next Random Tech Tuesday, like, subscribe, drop a comment. Until the next one, in a bit, peeps. Mm -hmm.